Hello everyone, it's uh, Rad. Uh, welcome to my channel Radku Tarot and uh, this is going to be a disclaimer that needs to stand in front of every video I do. So if you this is the first time you are here, welcome. If not, and should you wish to proceed, well, you can fast forward into the reading that it is ahead of this disclaimer. But as a disclaimer, I need to advise you that this is a, a general reading. Um, of the representative star sign and for that reason because tarot is very personal divination tool and does require narrative which in personal readings appear to be your question or the situation that you are describing uh, the read the general reading may or may not resonate entirely with uh, with your situation and if it resonates that great if it doesn't i do apologize for that but sh i'm yeah, and I wish you the best, you know, with some, with the situation that you're trying to cope with. But um, if you wish to proceed with the um, personal readings or uh, you wish to follow me on Facebook or on YouTube, you know, all, all of that or visit my website, all of that is going to be written in the description the box down below. And uh, thank you for watching in advance and uh, now lay back and uh, enjoy the video. All right, so this is going to be a Sagittarius Sun, Sagittarius Moon, and as well Sagittarius Rising. A weekly title reading November 25th to December 1st, 2019. And uh, bear with me just a couple of seconds, guys, to shuffle the tarot cards, and uh, we can jump right into it. All right. So, the first one which stands for the topic of your week, Sagittarius, this is going to be the Five of Swords. Followed by the second one which represents the challenges that you will need to overcome throughout the week, that is going to be the Six of Cups. Furthermore, we do have the positive aspect of the week for you and that is going to be the Judgment. And the last one which stands for the guidance that Taro is offering, that will be the Five, or the Eight of Swords, excuse me. It's a pretty straightforward one. Uh, I I don't know if you're going to like what I'm about to say. It's not a bad thing, right? But it's just, it kind of calls for a rootlessness, okay? So, Five of Swords, it is what we do have for the topic, um, yeah, followed by or catalyzed by the Eight of Wands. So that week uh, is going to be for you a simultaneously uh, very exciting and in the same time kind of disappointing. Why? Well, it looks like that this week is going to be like a call to arms. This week is going to be like a that you have to do what it is necessary. And the things that are necessary for you to do are not going to be very easy or they are not going to yeah they're not going to be very easy on other people which are to be around you right so it looks like that um, well how can I say it with those uh, two cards it looks like that this week it is where you have to think for yourself first and foremost and do what uh, you are going for right or start going for what you are going for if that makes uh, sense regardless of how this is gonna make the rest um, to feel, right? How this is going to make others uh, feel. And uh, that is entirely up to you to decide, however. Now, those two cards are um, completely situational. What I mean is that because it's not the Ace of Wands, but it is the Eight of Wands, Eight of Wands points to those, uh, this opportunity for you to act, to do something good for yourself, for... Uh, the expense of the others, okay? Uh, it will come by, and if not seized, go with the flow. So if you do not want to do it, then the week is going to be, you know, just completely ordinary week where there is nothing to move around. But you need to as well um, think of this, and that is very important with the Five of Swords. If you are willing to sacrifice your opportunity, 
are the others that uh, you are gonna have to cross or you are gonna have to smother in order to take that opportunity are gonna make the same sacrifice for you because with the five of swords highly unlikely right that they're gonna make the same sacrifice for you and that's why the week Sagittarius for you calls for a ruthlessness calls for you to kind of like be selfish if you will the thing first and foremost for yourself now other thing with those two cards is that you have to coat yourself very warm because once you do once you start doing things that makes you happy that are going to uh, make other people envy and you may hear bad things for yourself that is people may insult you people may try to humiliate you as well and also uh, throughout this week it is not excluded as well Sagittarius that you are to find um, people who have uh, basically took advantage from your trust and if that happens that actually is going to be a good thing because that will that will feed on into your ruthlessness and the more your ruthlessness it's it's fed the more tenacious you become and the more determined you are to become to win and believe me with the five of swords and the eight of wands it looks like that there is nothing stopping you but just yourself i mean you are the one who can stop yourself to have your win and that win is going to be yours either bitter or sweet should you go for it the other cards it's um uh, the challenges that you need to overcome here six of cups with the uh with the knight of swords i there is not much to be said here apart from that that you are not going to experience any pleasure from what you have to do you know at least not from the procedure but from the end goals who look that is a completely different uh completely different thing but uh, as the uh, knights of swords it's neutral it's a passive neutral to the uh, six of cups it calls for more um objective perception upon the upon the situation itself it calls upon more a uh, logical and mental approach rather than an emotional approach it calls for that uh, decision for fulfilling one's needs rather than to fulfilling others needs as well so that is the challenge itself that you may not like what how the other are gonna feel about what you are to do and you do it anyway because you are to recognize that that is the thing going to make you happy moving forward uh, with your future that is going to be the prime challenge for yourself Sagittarius throughout uh, this week so the other card here uh, it stands for the positive aspect and that is going to be the uh, judgment card accompanied with the world card so we do have an inactive neutrals here and uh highly conditional um how can i say it highly conditional positive aspect it will play or uh, it will manifest itself only if you decide to move on to your um towards your goal here right despite of how the others are gonna find that or you know how this is go how going for your goal is gonna make others feel all right and those two cards are pointing that um pretty much this is your call your calling if you will because the judgment is all about the wake-up call the judgment is all about being in tune with yourself being in harmony with yourself and not only just with yourself but with uh with what is going on around you as well the judgment it is like awakening it is like rebirth so think of like you are phoenix and right now you are uh, the ashes when the phoenix died and once you decide to do something for yourself throughout this week the phoenix the phoenix is gonna rise throughout the ashes now why the world card it stands here as a active neutral because uh with this drive with this motion that you are gonna have throughout the week and with that ruthlessness in other words doesn't you don't care what the others think or how the other feel that will allow you to resuscitate a certain thing you have lost back in the day so it doesn't have to end there 
All right. And if I have to give you an example here, let's say that uh, recently you had a relationship that you broke with, uh, with that re in that, that relationship because everybody was talking bad things about the relationship. Every everybody is kind of like making you against your partner or making your partner against you. And this week, it looks like that if you take on this opportunity, you ain't gonna care anymore, all right? Just why you should concern yourself with sheep when you can be the wolf. And that will allow you to resuscitate that relationship, okay? It could be as well project, for example, or it could be also business. The whole point with those two cards, it is that you are to re reunite yourself with, uh, with your primary objective, with your primary goal, and nothing will be able to influence you of it this time, uh, this time around. And the last card here, it is about the guidance that Taro is offering. We do have the Eight of Swords and it is accompanied with the Five of Pentacles. And that is quite uh, remarkable because those, those two cards are saying that uh, you may, at that point, you may feel insecure because you have allowed yourself to feel insecure, right? It is just, it's just is what the card says here. And... Uh, you have to open your eyes for the truth. And in this case, what the truth is, I like to say this sentence and I will say it again. It is that if you don't do something for your own happiness, no one else will, all right? It's just no one else care. Everybody, if someone does something to make you happy, it is because they are going to be happy from it, but they are not making it so you can be happy. They are making it so they can be happy, all right? So you have to do something for your happiness and that is the truth. And... If the truth makes you free, then what the denial of it makes you? Answer to that question to yourself and you will know how to approach this urge that comes to you this week. Urge to, how can I say it? To basically screw everything, screw everybody around. You know, this time you are going to take the matters in your own hands and do something for yourself because this is the only way you know if you want to do something right for yourself you gotta do it your own so that being said Sagittarius this was your weekly title reading November um, <clears throat> 25th to December 1st 2019 hope you enjoyed it and you liked it guys and we're going to see each other next time until then bye <laughs>